Returning to the track bouncing dialog one more time, there's also an option called Bounce Selected. This bounces all selected objects down to individual new files. This could be useful if you need to grab some loops to load into a sampler. I'm going to quickly freeze the MIDI drum part before I continue with the bouncing. Now I'm going to do some random selections. I think I'll create four loops which should be fine for this purpose. I'm drawing in a range and pressing T to split the object. This then creates a separate object. Pressing Ctrl plus spacebar will play only the selected object. Now I will control select the four objects I want to bounce. Then go to Tools, Track Bouncing, Bounce Selected. Stereo is already enabled and I only want a wave project. I'm going to create a new folder called Loops to save them into. Click OK and there they are bouncing away. I'm pressing enter to tile the windows, so let's have a quick listen. This bounce method doesn't include any effects, by the way. But they can always be added later. As an example, I'm going to add a bit of amp simulation to the drums from the offline FX menu. That's given it a bit more dirt and grime. When you click OK, the effects are rendered to the audio file. How about reversing it? So there's still plenty you can do with a wave project, but I won't be going into it in greater depth in this tutorial. I'm now going to talk about gluing objects. Objects can be glued together in the VIP by selecting the objects and going to the menu item Object Glue Objects. Or you can use the glue gun icon. By the way, it's easy to add or remove toolbar icons. Just right click on the toolbar and select Edit Toolbar. You can then add or remove them. You can also change the size and the design. I'm using the default toolbar. There's also star grey toolbars and also toolbars version 9. I prefer the default ones myself. If you want all the toolbars and icons, just open the power user workspace. Although I personally prefer a more minimalist workspace approach and I like to use keyboard shortcuts as much as possible. Track Freeze and Object Freeze always renders the FX to the frozen object. Freeze was originally intended to free up CPU when running large projects with lots of plugins on slower computers, but maybe this is less of an issue nowadays. Glue Objects is similar to Track Freeze but is a destructive process, so any object FX will be rendered destructively as well. Whereas freezing creates a freeze file, so it's always possible to return a frozen track or object to its original state. Also, track freeze always renders all of the objects of that track into one new object. As an example, using track freeze on the zebra track renders all those shorter objects into one long object. I'll undo that. If I use object freeze on multiple objects as opposed to track freeze, Go to the Object menu, Freeze Objects. The individual objects will still remain, as you can see, but any object effects will be frozen into those objects. You can glue multiple objects, but only the selected objects will be glued, and they must be contiguous or adjacent. Gluing is also a good way of tidying up a track. If you have lots of small objects, gluing them together consolidates them into one long object. Double click in an empty space to select all objects of that track. Then click on the glue gun. 
This could also possibly improve hard drive performance in some circumstances. Keep in mind that you can't undo glue objects after the project has been closed, although gluing can be reversed from the undo menu whilst the project is open. You can adjust how many undo steps you want by pressing Y and going to Undo. Back to the track bouncing menu. One advantage of using the glue selected dialog is that you can save it as a new file and also add that bounce version to the VIP automatically if you choose. You need to have the option new separate object in current VIP checked to do this. I'm going to save this with the new name, new perk. So now the freshly glued object is placed below the original ones with a custom name. Anyway, as you can see, there are many possibilities when using the track bouncing dialog combined with the glue gun plus the freeze options.